catch you Don't let me catch you slipping by Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel uh, So I hope you guys actually enjoyed my last video I actually posted two videos last week uh, One was get ready with me and the other one was a product review uh, So uh, today I've just filmed this look for you guys it's a really um, sparkly, I would say too sparkly, but it's a sparkly, nice Valentine's Day look. Okay guys, so we are going to start with the skincare first. So I'm applying a Josie Maran Aragon Oil and a Tatcha Beauty Lip Balm. Uh, skincare is extremely important before you do your makeup, so it's a must have step uh, for the primer i'm using smashbox photo finish primer and for foundation i'm just using my current obsession i'm actually so impressed with this foundation right now it's unbelievable it's clinique's beyond perfection foundation plus concealer and i'm using shade nine which is neutral um i am actually going to go and check out other shades as well but this seems to be actually matching with my neck perfectly but i think i might go for a one shade more darker um but for now i'm just using shade nine uh, and to lock my foundation i'm using urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray and I'm just put about uh, pressing this with my beauty blender. Um, I've already done my eyebrows off camera and I'm just starting with my eyes now. And I'm using um, MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in shade Soft Ochre. Um, and I'm applying this with my Sigma 3D Precision Brush. And for the eyeshadow today we're using Nikki Tutorials uh, collab with Too Faced The Power of Makeup Palette. And I'm applying the shade Painkiller in my uh, crease. And I'm mixing that with a little bit of a chocolate soleil from the same palette. All the shadows I apply today is from the same palette. Um, and apart from the glitter, but that's with came with the same collab as well. And to deepen up my outer V and you can say the outer crease, I'm using Make and chill i believe that's the shade makeup and chill um with my morphe brush i will write down all the numbers of all my brushes in the description box below um for the remaining part of the lid i'm using the peach blush from the same palette um it's just i that's what i really like about the this palette because you can use the blush as eyeshadow as well well, well, you can normally use do that with other brands as well, but this was very easy to work with. Um, for a blush to be so like pigmented and really showing on the eyes, I was really impressed with that. Um, I'm not actually doing a liner liner, but I'm going to tight line my upper lash line because before I apply my lashes. So it will look much more cleaner afterwards and everything will look really natural but <laughs> you know what i mean so i just used two faced sketch liner in shade black and i'm using the same glitter which came with the same nikki tutorial collab it's called glitterly um i use my eye candy cosmetics liquid sugar to apply this glitter um i have a mixed feeling about this uh, liquid sugar thing i think i'm i'm not 100 percent impressed with it i think i'm going to try uh two faced um eyeshadow insure no glitter uh, glued kind of thing because i i personally feel like sometime it works sometime it doesn't sometime it just takes the shadow off and i'm not really happy about that so for contour i'm using the la girl cosmetics um, pro conceal stick in shade beautiful bronze and I'm going to contour my usual areas, my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, my nose. And I'm using the same color for to contour my nose as well. This is one of my favorite shades actually, or you can say this is one of my favorite products to do my contour because uh, it's the, the the brush is ex extremely precise so it makes it very easy to 
apply the product and the shade is very nice it's not too orangey it's not too ashy so I really really like it so I'm just doing this um, with my Pro Conceal stick actually guys I'm not ma making my videos go really fast um, um, I don't know how you feel about that uh, please do leave your comments below if you don't want to if you want me to put the contour and highlight and all that kind of steps into fast forward uh, because I do that on ev in every video but I'm just trying to keep the video where I oh, I'm trying to keep the film where I do my eyes uh, in a normal video so you can see exactly how I do it but if you feel like my videos are too long and it should be shorter down do leave your comments below I'm more than happy to skip certain parts in a fast motion so I'm just going to blend all my contour with my Mac 125 brush this is one of my favorite brushes for the cream contour I think it just makes the work so easy um, it's a dual fiber dual fiber stipple brush I guess yeah that's the one and uh, it just blends everything very nicely it doesn't have I don't have to work too much with the product it just uh, the, the brush does most of the job it helps with the uh, perfect blending and all that so it's, it's really nice it's one of my favorite ones if you do know any other brush which is really good for cream contour do let me know because I'm really looking for <laughs> I really want to try some other brushes as well I have used my Artie's old brush as well but for some reason I always end up going back with this um, and for my highlighting I'm using a Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer in shade light um, I'm sorry if my picture just moved a little bit it was just my pup moving the camera stand so I didn't realize he actually moved it so much so I'm just highlighting my usual areas and I'm also doing going to clean the contour um, uh, the contour I just did uh, so make um, to make sure everything is looking defined and nice uh, for my under eye area I use this new product called wink licks it's a, it's a brand and it's their diamond powder in shade medium just to set my under eye area and for the rest of the face I actually use Laura Mercier for some reason it didn't record the video but I use my Laura Mercier powder to set the rest of the face and for my contour I'm using a Kevin Equan's tropical bronzer uh, I believe it's a solicitical, solicitical, tropical bronzer. But I will write down all the products in the description box below. So I'm just using that to go set my contour. And uh, for my lower lash line, I'm going to apply all the shades I did for my eyes and uh, just um, in the reverse order. So I'm doing a peach shade first on my lower lash line. All, uh, and then I'm going to brow uh, sorry i'm going to deepen my outer uh with the makeup and chill shade using my morphe brush uh pretty much uh, the brushes i use for my eyes i use the same brushes for my lower lash line as well because um, i didn't actually do much of a tight line or anything i went for more of a blowout kind of smoky look um while i'm doing the this part of the eye which is the outer V. I'm make I'm connecting that with my upper uh, um, outer V as well. So it gives me like a, a cat eye effect without putting any liner or anything. So it it looks very it it, it helps my eyes look really nice and long and sharp. Um, so I'm just blending the those two colors together, and I'm going to apply the glitterly glitter just in the inner corner of my eye um, slightly probably slightly more than in a corner but not all the way to the outer way or anything just a slightly so it actually matches with everything what's happening on the lid again if you think it's um, if you if I should skip this step or if I should make it forward uh, like fast forward or make it into a more a uh, speedy video do let me know more than happy to make some changes um, but I just wanted you you to see how exactly I'm doing my eyes in a normal video 
and uh, by the way this brush is like one of my favorites right now it's so 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 good it's a morphe brush uh, i will write down the number below it i used it in my last video as well okay just to uh, waterline my eyes i'm using burjos <laughs> I can never pronounce this brand. It's so funny. But I'm using Burjo's uh, Smoky Eye Pencil in shade Brown. I, I had this eye pencil for a while now. So I'm not really sure if they still have it in the line, uh, in their product line or not. But I think I've seen somewhere their Smoky Eye Pencils in some of the, I think it was in a Shopper Drug Mart or something. So you might want to check that out. I'm not really 100% sure if this is still in, in one of their product lines. Uh, but it's a very nice one. It smokes out the waterline really nicely. And for my mascara, I'm using a Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara. This is the old one. I need to try the new one. I need to get the new one and try the new one. But I'm I'm actually obsessed with the old one. It was one of my favorites. Oh, it still is one of my favorites. For the blush, I'm using uh, um, the peach and the pink shade from the same palette. I just mix those two together. And I'm just going to apply this on the apple of my cheeks. I like to make this face when I'm smiling but not smiling. So, <laughs> so to help with the proper blush. And for my makeup setting spray, I'm using NYX Cosmetics Dewy Finish Makeup Setting Spray. Um, just let it dry for a minute. And then I'm applying my favorite, favorite highlighter. This is from the Balm Cosmetics. It's a Mary Luminizer oldie but the best bestie I, I i'm i don't know for some reason i have a jaclyn hill palette i have a champagne pop i have anastasia's but for some reason i always end up going back to the same one i really need to draw start trying other ones as well or start using other ones as well but this is one of my favorites i think it just always gives me the perfect glow i always want so this is i'm just highlight uh, highlighting my usual areas um, and I'm using uh, uh, I believe it's a Morphe 510 brush um, again one of my favorites to apply the highlighters uh, for lip liner I'm using number seven lip pencil in shade coral um, and I'm just going to line my lips with it I'm not going today I'm not going to fill the lips with the pencil um, I just wanted a nice guideline for my lips before I put the lipstick on. Just wanted to keep the shade, the lipstick shade as true as to the actual color. Um, so I'm just going to line the lips. And uh, for my lipstick, I'll be using uh, Gerard Cosmetics uh, lipstick in Tequila Sunrise. Uh, again an extremely beautiful shade it's like a corally pinky shade like coral shade with pink undertones i'll say um but it went really nicely with the whole look i wanted a bit of a coral color but not too corally i just wanted more of a peachy shade kind of thing so it gives me a really nice finish and sorry about making that horrible face i didn't realize i'm making that face <laughs> So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below if you want to see something specific. Have a lovely day guys. Love you all.